Unreal Engine uses a server client setup. That means that in multiplayer, there are multiple copies of the game running on different computers. One of these computers is the server, which can also be a player, or it could be a dedicated server. All the other computers are called clients that are each running their own copy of the game and connect to the server. Now, with multiple copies of the game running on different computers, how do we keep things synchronized? Well, that's where authority comes in. In Unreal Engine, the server is also called the authority. This means that the server is responsible for dictating what the state of the game looks like. And all the clients update their own copy based on what the server says. That is what replication is. Replication just means that the server continuously synchronizes the values of all replicated actors to the connected clients. For example, a replicated box moves on the server, then all connected clients see the box move. This is because the box is replicated, and most importantly, the movement properties of the box are all set to replicated. But if a client tries to move the box, this only happens on their copy and no one else sees it. So how do clients take actions that everyone else sees? This is where RPCs come into play. Clients request to do an action on the server using what's called an RPC call, and this only runs on their own copy on the server because the server has a copy of all the connected players. So you set an event to run on the server, then the server runs that event, and then because this event ran on the server, all the other clients see it. Well, what about latency? If every time I do a simple action like move, I have to tell the server, hey, I want to move, the server moves me and then responds, hey, you've moved, then there's gonna be a lot of lag between when I press a button and when my player moves, right? Well, exactly. And that's where client-side prediction comes into play. Client-side prediction means that when the client does an RPC call, they also do whatever they just ask the server to do on their own machine without waiting for a response. Then when the server responds, the client updates their predicted values with whatever the server says. If everything goes as expected, they will both have the same values and the client won't notice that anything changed. But if for any reason the server responds with different values than what the client predicted, then the client will update their own values with what the server says and the player might see a jitter.